Google recently made a bunch of headlines by releasing fall detection for the Pixel Watch. But if you have an Apple Watch, that feature has been built in for quite a while. I'm Jason Cipriani, and in this ZDNet how-to video, I'm gonna walk you through how to enable fall detection on your Apple Watch. So why would you want to enable fall detection? You're not clumsy, you never fall, but it's about peace of mind, right? If you're on a ladder, if you're constantly in a sport or activity where you're on your own going on runs, perhaps you fall on that, or maybe you're just clumsy and you fall quite a bit. I know we all have at least one family member who does that. Having fall detection on your watch, which uses a combination of sensors and algorithms built into the watch to detect a hard fall, ask if you're okay, and if you don't get a, if the watch doesn't get a response, call for help with your exact location. It could be literally a lifesaver. So what do you need in order to use this feature? Well, it's available on the Apple Watch SE or newer, so the two SE models, as well as the Apple Watch Series 4 or newer. If you have any of those models, so that could be an Ultra or a Series 7 or anywhere above the Series 4, you can enable fall detection with just a few taps. And in fact, when you set up your Apple Watch, it uses some of that information, specifically your age, to determine what level of fall detection is turned on. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. But you're also asked to turn it on during the initial setup of your watch. So if you skipped past that, unsure what it is, Here's how you can go back and turn it on manually. The easiest way to do this is on an iPhone. I'm gonna walk you through on my iPhone right now. I actually already have it turned on, but I'll walk you through what the different, different levels of fall detection are based on your age and all of that. All right, so on your iPhone, what you'll do is go to the Apple Watch app. You then are going to scroll down and find Emergency SOS. And emergency SOS, don't get that confused with fall detection. They're two different things. So emergency SOS is you can hold the side button in on your watch to get help, to call 911 and let emergency responders know you're in emergency, you need help. So that's automatically on, right? Car crash um, detection is also on. And then you get to fall detection. And for me, it's on. I turned it on during the initial setup of my Apple Watch Ultra. But you can see there's two options here. There's always on, and then there's only on during workouts. And I was under the impression until I started working on this video that my watch was always on fall detection. I had no idea at what point or when or if it ever changed to workout only. But this is fascinating to me, so I did some research. It turns out when you enter your age, when setting up your Apple Watch, as you enter a bunch of fitness, your weight, your height, age, stuff like that. When If you're under 55, Apple Watch fall detection and enabling it defaults to only during workouts. It won't turn on for always on. If you're 55 or older, which I guess are people who are more prone to accidental falls or at least having severe accidental falls, it defaults to always on. All right, so what I wanna do is turn Fall detection on, if you have it turned off, you toggle that switch. Based on your age, it'll select the default setting. If you wanna switch it, like I wanna tap always on, that's gonna let me know, and I can hit confirm. It's gonna let me know that there could be false alerts, and it may, to pay attention. If your watch is beeping and glaring at you, or sirens blaring at you, to pay attention so you don't accidentally call for help. If you, were always on and you want to turn it to only during workouts, it's a simple toggle there as well. That's all there is to turning on fall detection on your Apple Watch. It's a simple process, takes just a couple of minutes. Now you know how to use fall detection or at least turn on fall detection on your smartwatch, whether it's for you or an elderly family member who you bought a watch for just for the peace of mind. I'm Jason Cipriani with ZDNet. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to check out ZDNet.com for more tech tips just like this one, as well as all the latest tech news and reviews.